Hello, Dr. Justin Gray here uh, from the Gray School of Music in Dallas, Texas, joining you from my humble home here in Arlington, Texas. All of our teachers have been sent home this week following spring break because of the coronavirus to conduct their lessons via uh, Skype and Zoom and various media. And so the work goes on, but the work is quite different than what we're accustomed to as teachers, and yet we go forward, don't we? At any rate, um, I wanted to take this time uh, today to share with you a little bit about a composer you might want to include or re-include in your teaching of junior high and high school age students. That composer is Bergmuller, Frederick Bergmuller, who was a 19th century composer uh, his mother was a singer. His brother was also a composer. Uh, the Bergmuller we're referring to today lived most of his life in Paris, France, and died there towards the end of the 19th century. One fact I didn't know about Bergmuller was that he was a student of Louis Spohr, who uh, had a prodigious uh, output during the 19th century. And so Spohr did have that touch with greatness, and uh, uh, his works are quite beautiful. The Harmony of the Angels that I just played there is excellent for junior high and high school age students, or a talented elementary school student for that matter. And uh, anyways, we all know of the arabesques, the ballad, these pieces by Bergmuller, but uh, this little volume edited by Keith Snell, who has done an excellent job, um, as always. Uh, reminds us there are many other pieces by, Ber by Bergmuller. There's an excellent Tarantella and uh, other things in this particular volume that you may want to revisit or re-include. Um, in general, Bergmuller pieces make excellent recital pieces. They always go over well with an audience. They're fun but challenging for your students to play. Uh, the Tarantella, for example, can be tricky with its rhythm uh, the grace notes on page two of the piece, for example, can be a little bit of a challenge as well. So anyways, I wanted to invite you to uh, revisit Bergmuller. Uh, his pieces have a wonderful pedagogical bent to them, and that's why, as far as I understand it, he, he composed them. And uh, at any rate, um, I just wanted to bring his works to the forefront in this little video. I also wanted to encourage all you teachers who are now on online media. Uh, I must admit I was pretty excited about the prospect at first, and I, and I still am. Uh, but after a long day of teaching online, I can tell you it's, uh, it can be quite challenging. At one time, I just kind of wanted to burst into tears because the audio wouldn't come on and everything worked out, but um, it's the little things like that that one doesn't expect in technology that starts to disrupt 
uh, what we're used to having as being a, a, normal, a normal ebb and flow and harmony from student to student. Uh, at any rate, um, hang in there. It does get better. And um, some, suggest some suggestions would be, please keep the score, a copy of the score, in front of you. That way, with the student, you can say, please go to measure 19, please go to measure 20, and uh, tell me what you see in the left hand or the right hand uh, or the like. You can stay, you can track with the student a lot easier than if you don't have the music in front of you. Also, too, don't anticipate or count on, rather, um, having a view of the keyboard of your student in view. You may have to teach entirely by ear, and that's where your, uh, your knowledge of the pieces, Faber and the like, are really going to come in handy. If I didn't know these pieces as well as I do, uh, just having gone through them for 20 years, I would be in some trouble. Um, so anyways, uh, also test out the media with a friend um, or email yourself and have two devices and, and test it out before you do this. Um, because there, there are things that can go wrong and 10 to 15 minutes later you're still fiddling with this with the parents, oh dear, it can be quite frustrating. But courage, go forward teachers, it can be done and uh, we are of course preserving the most important task and that is passing on musical knowledge to the next generation even in this time of great crisis and quite honestly, great fear. So anyways, I'll just leave you with that, and I bid you a fond adieu uh, this, e this day, this evening, at whatever time you may be watching this video. Uh, here from Arlington, Texas, I invite you to check out all of my other videos on the YouTube channel, Dr. Justin Gray, and thanks again for your time.